Actually made my day. Did you see how close they came to me? They've literally never done that. Ever. Usually I'm like two meters away. But they actually like came to my feet. Oh my god. They must remember me. Because every time I come here I come see them. So this building is actually where I used to do my exams. In first year we did all our exams here and Yes, it was a very stressful time. Just imagine this whole area filled with uni kids trying to get into that door. Anyone who has done exams in person at uni will understand that, that feeling. It's not a good feeling. You already know what I'm doing. It is a growing Ananas workout. head into uni and it takes me like less than 15 minutes to walk there and I'm just gonna spend the whole day there. I'm gonna have a super productive day today. I've got my exams in four days so you know the stress is getting higher and higher every single day but I work the best when I'm under stress because if I'm not stressed I will not do anything so a little bit of stress can sometimes be good but you have to channel that stress and actually focus. lunchtime with around 12 30 and I've done like three hours of study and I'm getting really hungry and I can't concentrate when I'm hungry so I'm gonna go get some lunch I think I might just get some sushi because I know there's a place really close by I'm really glad that there's no one around because I would not be vlogging like this if there was okay yeah there's no one around um the sushi place wasn't open so I don't know what to do. I'm gonna walk around and see if I can find anything else to eat. Okay, it's kind of raining, but I'm sitting under a tree, so I'm kind of protected. But if it starts to pour down, then I'm gonna have to like run back. But I got my food. Um, fun fact: I used to live in Malaysia for like three years. This is so embarrassing. I'm like literally talking to myself. I'm so glad no one's here. Anyway, I used to live in Malaysia for like three years when I was little, so 
I love Malaysian food. I got a nasi lemak with a beef rendang. If you haven't tried a nasi lemak before, please go and try it. It's so good. This whole thing was only like $13 and it comes with curry, it's got rice and it's got like the anchovies and the peanuts and then it also comes with a sambal. You kind of just like eat everything together and it's actually delicious. So if you're new to my channel or you don't really know who I am, I am Naomi. Hi. I study biomed at the University of Melbourne. So it's an alright course. It's quite intense for me personally. I feel like I'll have to work harder than everyone else in my course just to pass. Because um, I find the content really hard. So it's a three year degree and I'm graduating this year. So yeah, I'm very surprised I'm graduating to be honest. Because my first year was not good. Mm -mm. <laughs> my first year was so bad. I literally failed a few subjects, which is fine. Um... <laughs> I blame the fact that I was at college and I was 17 in my first year and university was not my priority at all. I've completely bounced back and I study a lot now as you guys can see which um, has improved my grades a lot. The reason I chose to do biomed was because I knew that I wanted to like do something in the health industry but I didn't know what path and I thought that biomed would kind of give me an opportunity to basically save a few years of not stressing about going into the workforce and um, you know I could make up my mind and like what path I wanted to go down while doing the degree but it hasn't happened because I still don't know what I'm doing. I'm 20 so I'm still young. I just think there's a lot more out there in the world than working a 9 to 5 job but like I also need a job you know. Maybe I'll be YouTube famous one day and then I can pay all my bills. Mm -mm. I think a bird just shot in my food. Did you see that? I saw something plop down. Anyway, so I moved to Melbourne because I came to Melbourne a lot um, as like a holiday while I was living in Queensland. So I basically grew up in Queensland. Like I spent my whole life basically in Queensland. And I lived in a very small, very boring city where the majority of people leave. Um, and do like further education somewhere else. So all my friends went to Brisbane, but I wasn't the biggest fan of Brisbane. I don't know why. I decided to be quirky and come to Melbourne because I thought Melbourne was super exciting, which it is. Anyway, yeah, Melbourne is a really fun city to live in when it's not in lockdown. Obviously the last 100 days being in lockdown while doing uni is a bit tough, but without lockdown, I wouldn't have started my TikTok and I wouldn't, you know, not done anything, so Everything happens for a reason, I guess. But now that Melbourne is suddenly easing restrictions, it's gonna be so fun. And I'm gonna spend like a month here after my exams and just having fun. So get ready for some fun summer vlogs. Okay, I'm gonna eat the rest of this and I'll see you back at the library. This is like the main cute building. I don't even know what that building is, but it looks really nice. This is the library where I'm currently staying. So we just left the library. It's like quarter to nine. So 
we really did spend the whole day there. We are really sad because everyone is going to Halloween parties and we're in the library yeah. studying and we're looking at everyone's stories and everyone looks really hot and we're not. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I look like a Oompa Loompa. <laughs> everyone's in like sexy hat <laughs> costumes and stuff. Which, whoa. <gasps> Halloween people! <laughs> Guys. Oh my god, that makes me so sad. That makes me so sad. That makes me really sad. It looks so good. What were they? Woody? Hers looks really good. Yay. We made it. guys i'm probably gonna end my vlog here thank you so much for watching good luck to anyone who is doing exams hard work pays off so just grind it out and then everything will all be over soon i'm gonna go to bed thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next vlog bye, bye.